Relationship Advice Today I messed up by hooking my girlfriend up with a job at a company I work for. Happened years ago, but I was told to post this here. My girlfriend, at the time, and I were dating for just shy of six years. We were high school sweethearts and still in school. She had always struggled with jobs and keeping them, and since we lived together, I usually had to pick up the slack. I was working as an assistant manager at a video game retail store at the time, probably not hard to figure out which one. It was honestly an easy job, as long as you gave little effort, pre-orders here, couple warranty sells there. As my girlfriend loved video games more than I did, I had the brilliant idea to get her a job. She's an attractive girl, while 80% of our customers were neckbeards who hardly get to interact with women. Should be easy for her to make sales. There's no way she can mess this up I said, confidently to myself. There is a policy as of most companies that people in relationships can't work at the same location. No problem. We have 12 stores in our district that are within a 5 mile radius. They seriously put these stores on every other block. I do a little digging and hook her up at a neighboring store that had a vacant position. She would also be working with the head store manager of the district, indirectly one of my bosses. Few weeks in, and it's going great. What took me about a year to get moved up, she does in weeks. I'm not a self-conscious person, so I didn't care. Plus, she could help pick up her half of the bills. Here's where I started to realize I messed up. Girlfriend comes driving in with a brand new car. Considering we were living paycheck to paycheck, I was pretty upset. I asked her where she got the car from and she told me, I've been saving up. BS but okay. I loved her, so as long as she's happy, I'm happy. Next comes in with write-ups. I started getting write-ups and customer complaints left and right. I'm a very good employee and I very rarely make anyone upset. I couldn't even find where these customers were coming from. Even though my performance was the best out of most employees, I was starting to fear for my job. As to be predicted, I ended up getting fired. I tried to fight it but I live in Texas, and the rules are that companies can fire anyone at any time, for any reason. I'm absolutely crushed. I turned to my girlfriend for emotional support, just to find her extremely distant. She dumped me days later, double whammy. I loved her for 6 years. She told me she felt this way for a while, things are the same. I'm absolutely heartbroken, I'm angry, depressed, jobless. Felt like my life got flipped upside down. One week later, her Facebook status put her in a relationship with her boss. My boss. Not sure when it happened, but he bought her a car, and then got me fired. Turns out all the customer complaints about me originated from that store somehow. Total BS. I set her up to absolutely F me over, and to bone my boss. I'm still a little sad about it, but it is what it is. Edit, perhaps the biggest F you is the fact I didn't sue. I was such an emotional wreck from everything, it didn't even cross my mind. But I'm doing pretty well for myself now, and whatever money I'd get wouldn't be worth bringing her to court for. Just the thought of seeing her sends chills down my spine. Now for the top comments. Damn, like she couldn't just leave you? For what reason did that guy have to get you fired first? I can't imagine how you were feeling after that. She probably got his old job, since she couldn't suck her boss's D and work at the same location as him. Damn, now I'm sad. Edit, for those asking why sad, I appreciate that OP is doing better now and I'm happy for him, truly. I wrote the original comment prior to edits detailing his happiness and moving on. Not only that though, going through something similar to a story, I'm sure the moment of impact was awful and the suffering was intense at the time. Still, I'm glad things have gotten better. Mate, I regret even reading this. Piggybacking, but OP, you didn't mess up at all. She did. You did the right thing. You getting her a job just showed her true colors and that's good. Better find out now than later. Your time is precious and that shouldn't be wasted on pawn scum. I hope you work over this and it all turns out good for you. Thank you for your kind words. Even though it sucked, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I can't remember where this quote came from, but it went something like, every moment before this one, depends on this one, which means everything before now is justified by what we do now. I've always liked that quote, considering I'm genuinely happier than I've ever been. If there's any good ending to this story, then that one is it. If you lawyer up to sue for unfair dismissal, they'll settle and you'll get a payout. The boss will get a serious black eye. I may or may not have been able to sue. But honestly, I found another job days later, and I was an emotional wreck. 
I think going through court probably would have driven me into a deeper pit than I already was. Hindsight is 2020. I dodged a bullet and I'm thankful for it. A little more info from the poster. Update. A couple of you guys were wondering, but they dated a few months and broke it off. Neither of them works for the company anymore. A little detail I forgot to mention, that when she came to take her stuff from our place, he was helping carry the stuff to her car. That was probably the most gut-wrenching moment for me. Both of them are pieces of crap. Second update. I really appreciate all the positive feedback. I've been mostly over it, but the love really helps. Some of you guys are asking where she is now, she's doing alright, she's engaged to one of my old high school friends, also slightly suspicious. Still driving that same car too, from the looks of it. I'm doing pretty well for myself, and if there's any happy ending to this, is that I'm genuinely happier than I've ever been in my life. Third and probably final update, again, I really appreciate the positive messages. Reliving and retelling the story made me angry and I missed a few details. I can't prove that he bought her a car, but I was pretty aware of her finances, and she couldn't afford a new car without significant help. It wasn't a fancy car, it was a new Prius that was worth about $18,000, in addition to trading in her old car. And the rumor around the block was that, he did in fact help her. I was not a perfect boyfriend, I got upset at silly things, I could have been more attentive, but I never raised my voice, and I was very loyal. The course of when she got promoted to when she got the car was roughly 3 or 4 months, the separation and firing happened about 2 months after that. I didn't clarify that detail. The boss was a district manager in training, recently got promoted, and the kind of guy that would spend money to impress a girl. Now for the next story. My, 23 male, girlfriend, 22, of 5 years cheated on me with a guy, 17, yesterday, because we were in fight for one week. This just hurts so much that I don't know what to do. I am not a perfect boyfriend, not at all. We used to fight, not so often, but we do, for things when we get annoyed and usually continue talking after several hours. We live in same rented apartment and she works at a factory. One week ago, a friend of hers who works with her, told me when he saw me in grocery store to watch on her, because people are saying she is getting around one guy who is there on trial work or house that called from the high school, 17 years old. I didn't want to believe, but she started doing makeup way more since that guy came there, and was basically waking at 4 a.m. to do makeup till 6 a.m. every morning. I didn't talk with her, I was just avoiding because of my anxiety, and told her not to touch me or talk to me. She was pissed, but didn't care that much nor stayed at home much this week. Day before yesterday, she told me if I am sure I want to continue ignoring her, and after just me being silent, she mumbled fine be it that way. She went out saying she goes to take money from ATM with my sister at 9 am, but instead went with him, got drunk and kissed him. She then went home and acted like nothing happened. Just bought me a chocolate and juice, which she never does, ever. It's always me buying stuff and we split money, so I ask her what she wants. For some reason, she left her phone unlocked on the bed while she went to the toilet, and I saw a call from her female coworker called name too, but there was a male picture. I had to snoop and saw the chat and everything. I just froze and asked her if she did do that. Her response was yes, she did, but it didn't help her, she wanted to just cheat with anyone to feel better, because I was avoiding her. She just kissed him with lips and not tongue and she didn't like that? I hurt so much, just so freaking much, I started crying and told her to leave me and never come back. I just wanted her gone, but she is from foster family and the fosters doesn't want her back after I told them what happened. Her salary is not enough to rent apartment and pay all expenses and food. She can't survive alone no matter what. I am hurting so much and don't know what to do. I am locked in another room and she is crying and begging and apologizing, and said she only did kiss him with lips and she would quit the job, to show me he is nothing to her. I told her I can't be with her at the moment this morning, and sent her to my sister's house for several days. I am alone and my sister is the only support I have on this world, and she lives in this city where I moved with my girlfriend. I didn't tell her what happened as she loves her a lot, and I can't hurt her as well. I don't know how to handle this, I want her out of my life but I am not a monster to just kick her out. I can't ruin someone's life like this. Can I just forgive her? Would you dear Redditors forgive someone for doing this to you, if you were in my situation? I feel so many emotions. I want her, I want her to be here, but I feel so betrayed. I love her so much, but at the same time, I feel hate. I have no one to talk this through and I had to at least share it with people here. 
Sorry for ranting I just had to talk with someone. If someone sees this, I am sorry for writing it so sloppily. I haven't slept at all. I work from home due to COVID and all my friends are far away, as I moved with my girlfriend just so she could work on this job in the factory two months ago. Edited part where I forgot to mention she said she was with my sister at the ATM to withdraw money. Now for the top advice. There are a few separate issues here. She cheated on you. She deliberately targeted a minor, which makes her an offender. In choosing a minor, she chose someone she could control. The situation of living together makes the logistics of it all a lot more difficult, but leaving that aside, I don't see how the relationship can survive this. It really shows what sort of person she is, that she would try to deal with relationship issues that way. The repeat cycle of arguing and then moving on without really resolving issues, makes me think that both of you have some maturing to do. Good luck. Thank you for this input. I had to take a bit of sleep. It didn't even cross on my mind about the age gap. I am more of silent type of person and just had to move on, and accept with things from time to time. It helped me a lot in situations with my parents when I used to live with them, and seems like I always deal like that with people around me. If you have been brought up in an environment where it is not safe to express disagreement, then it's common to internalize events and not deal with them. The problem here is that nothing gets resolved, it just gets buried and festers until stress levels build up to force it out. I think perhaps you might benefit from developing some conflict resolution skills. There are plenty of places you can read up on it online. Do what you feel comfortable with, take it in little bits at a time. Yes, you are correct. Every thought I have about wanting to work this out, gets immediately crushed by the fact that she kissed the other guy and that I can't ever trust her again. She could do that on any other job or place. I will look for those guides, but right now I don't feel like doing anything. You are not ruining her life, she did by cheating. She is an adult who is responsible for her own actions. Silent treatment is never good way to go, but she decided to get back at you by going after a minor. She told me literally it could be anyone, just people used to make jokes about him and me, and he messaged me asking to go out, so I just wanted to hurt you like I was hurting this week. Now for the last story. My ex is a huge scumbag. We were together for three and a half years. The last few months of the relationship, the dynamic changed and I was the one putting all the work in. A month ago, she told me she was scared that I was going to cheat, so she asked me to remove a bunch of girls on social media that I had history with before we started dating. I figured whatever, she's probably just being insecure. I didn't really care about removing them because she was the only woman I was focused on. I didn't realize the implications of this until she dumped me two weeks later. She wanted to make sure I had no female options when she dumped me. So, she dumps me. I told her I wasn't going to be her friend, but that she could come to my place if she changed her mind and wanted to have some wine. We agreed to end on good terms. I removed her on social media so I can move on with my life peacefully. She messaged me a couple days later asking me why I removed her on social media, I didn't reply. She calls me exactly one week after she dumped me and keeps asking me why I took her off social media. I tell her it's because that's the easiest way to move on. She gets mad, starts yelling, and eventually says, wow you really don't want to see me move on with another guy eh? I just laughed and told her she's wasting my time with the convo, and hung up. She messaged me right after asking me if I know why the relationship ended. I tell her the reason I believe to be true, after I did some reflecting. I got too needy once she moved out, causing her to lose interest. She replies saying yeah, I lost interest, but do you know the real reason? I reply saying you found a new guy? The next reply caught me off guard, this is the new guy, she doesn't want you anymore so you may as well stop texting her. I sent back a piece emoji and blocked her on everything. And she is going to stay blocked on everything. I have no urge or desire to check her socials. I don't care who she has been cheating on me with, or how long it's been going on for. What's important is that, She's a cheater and won't be getting any of my attention, I want nothing to do with her. I'm annoyed that this is the type of person I spent three years living with. Most of all, I am thankful that I didn't invest any more of my time and resources into someone who is this crappy. Now for the top comments. LOL. I'm betting there is no new guy, and she had some weird illusion that you'd beg her to come back if she did that. Either way you dodged a bullet. I agree here. She was playing games seen it in real life never understood what the end goal was but be aware op 
She will come for you again and again with all the crazy tricks you can think of. She asks you to remove them off social media, like you can't add them again whenever you want. Gets mad when you remove her from social media, and rubs her affair on your face with the new guy. Either she and the other guy are really dumb, or she has a problem. Yeah, I think she thought that would destroy me or something, but she doesn't realize that hitting the follow button on those same girls is just as easy as it was to unfollow. She fed on your positive emotions whilst you were together, and now she's feeding on your negative ones now that you are split up. This succubus is getting her kicks from seeing you hurt. No contact all the way. No contact is definitely the move. No looking back. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. Turn the, 